it's Laura Dovalo here with a new interactive card tutorial that I hope you'll enjoy. This time I made a magnetic slimline slider card featuring a UFO, or I think it would now be called a UAP, and a fun cow. I started by using the new MSTN yellow submarine dynamic set to cut two submarines out of Copic friendly cardstock. Now we can easily snip off that propeller with a pair of scissors. I'm also gonna cut off the dome or cabin or whatever you call that part of a UFO on one of the die cuts. We don't have any MFT alien or monster stamp sets at the moment, so I decided to use the octopus from the new Oceans of Fun set. The cute stingray would also work, or the blowfish. After stamping it with Extreme Black Hybrid ink, I quickly colored it with the markers G14 and G12. Next I grabbed a 0.1 multi-liner pen to make the eyes bigger or more alien-like. If you're worried about your drawing skills, use a pencil first before going in with the pen. I colored the UFO hull by applying C00 all over, especially in the middle part. Next I used C5 for the outer edges. It was so dry that I switched to C4. Next I went in with the C3, slightly overlapping the previous color to blend them a little bit. I did the exact same thing with Copic marker C2, making the transition as smooth as possible. And lastly, I used a little bit of C00 again to finish my first layer of coloring. Off camera, I repeated the process, and now I'm adhering the two die cuts together with liquid glue. This one gives me a little time to line them up perfectly. Off camera, I also die cut the little dome out of acetate backed with score tape to make it look like glass. It adds the perfect touch to our spaceship. I colored the submarine portholes off camera with markers Y15, Y13 and Y11 to turn them into spotlights. Then I inlaid them in their places by adhering a strip of tape to the back. Here I am attaching the frames which I die cut out of brushed silver cardstock backed with score tape. Ok, skipping ahead a little bit. Here I am finishing the ink blending on my main panel. After adding a first layer of distress oxide ink. I made a little improvised cone with blue tape and here I'm adding a second layer before peeling off the tape and flicking water droplets over the whole panel. The sentiment is also from the Oceans of Fun set. I heat embossed it on black licorice cardstock and cut it with one of the dies from the skinny strips dynamics. Now that all of our elements are done, it's time to assemble the card. Let's start by cutting a notch in the main panel with a 1 inch hole punch. I later also cut a notch in the card base so that it would be easier to grab the slider panel. For some cards it's necessary and for others it's not. Next we're going to stack the two slider panels to make a really sturdy one. I used liquid glue because it allows a little bit of wiggle room for adjustments before it dries completely. Rubbing stuff with a bone folder is always a good idea. I couldn't find any small magnetic discs, so I used these larger ones that I had in my stash. The ideal thing would be to add two small ones with a distance of at least a quarter of an inch between them. If you use only one, the die cut will slightly spin. The discs are really easy to use, they come with a strong double sided tape backed with a sticker with a minus or a plus on it. I grabbed one, peeled off the sticker and adhered it centered to the lower edge of my slider panel. The corresponding magnet will snap into place and we just need to adhere it to the back of the cow, which I forgot to mention is from the BB, the whole herd stamp set. But before we move on, let's add some foam tape to the back of the main panel. I used a half an inch wide tape, which I slightly trimmed so that it wouldn't show from the sides. After temporarily taping my slider panel to the back of my main panel, it was easy to add the strips of tape to the three sides. 
When I make a magnetic slider, I don't usually add a stop mechanism like a strip of cellophane to keep the slider panel from moving too far. This time the spaceship acts as a stop. The panel is now attached to the card base, so it's time to adhere the cow to the magnet or the magnet to the cow. Let's peel off this sticker and there we go. Let's try it out. As you can see it works, although it does rotate a little bit. Here I'm peeling off the backing of these thick foam dots that I added to the back of the UFO so that I can adhere it to my panel and the cow has plenty of room to hide underneath. I went through my stash and was lucky enough to find two small magnetic discs. After adhering those to the slider panel and cow, it can now slide perfectly straight. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I would really appreciate a thumbs up or a kind comment if you liked my tutorial. As always, you'll find all of the information in the description box below. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye bye, hasta la próxima!